Flood water wreaking havoc across China's Henan province, the damage visible as far as the eye can see. The army is warning one of the region's seven stricken dams may collapse at any time, risking the lives of around seven million people. Heavy downpours have flooded streets, stranding travelers, bringing the region to a standstill. Cars are completely submerged as residents are swept away. Underground, unmistakable panic among these passengers trapped inside a submerged subway car. Waist deep waters rising to their shoulders. Emergency crews reportedly opening a hole in the roof, evacuating passengers one by one. This terrifying moment shows bystanders swallowed by a sinkhole with a crowd rescuing this woman. A deafening explosion at this aluminium factory after a nearby river burst its banks. The flood water mixed with chemicals, lighting up the night sky. The government has been upgrading its emergency response, with crews working round the clock to rescue residents inside their flooded homes and cars. Increased urbanization and climate change has worsened the impact of floods in recent years. This is the most rainfall the region has seen in six decades, with no sign of letting up any time soon. And Katrina joins us live now from Beijing. Katrina, so this flooding in Henan province has been pretty severe. I mean, how badly has it affected critical infrastructure in the region? Hi, Darren. Well, there are at least five million people living in the city of Zhengzhou, and many of them are currently without electricity, fresh running water, internet or gas. Many locals that we have spoken to are actually going into their cars and using their cars to charge their mobile phones, which are their only connection to the outside world. In terms of other infrastructure, most public transport has been suspended. So many roads, uh, main roads are blocked, they're flooded. Uh, buses have been cancelled, subways have been closed, as well as the airport. Now, 100,000 people have been relocated because of this wet weather, uh, unprecedented for many of these locals in their lifetimes. Many that we have spoken to have said this is the worst that they've ever seen it. Uh, those who can stay home uh, have been warned by the government to remain indoors to stay safe. Now, it's been raining quite heavily in Zhengzhou for at least three days, but the worst of it came on Tuesday afternoon uh, at about 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. In the space of just one hour, 20 centimeters of rain fell. And many of the subways in the eastern part of the city, the most, uh, the most low-lying part of the city, were quickly submerged. And that's where, tragically, uh, many of these 12 people who, are, have, uh, who have been confirmed dead had lost their lives. Now, the government has sent in uh, 10,000 people, a mixture of firefighters and soldiers, uh, to participate in this rescue operation. And the warning level, the emergency level, remains at its highest. But it's not just Zhengzhou, the city that has been affected. Neighboring areas are also affected, as well as the city of Luoyang, which is about 130 uh, 30 kilometers to the west of Zhengzhou. Now, this city has a very crucial dam, the Yihe Tan Dam, which was breached overnight by 20 meters of water. Authorities uh, announced a warning that this dam could collapse at any moment. They are monitoring it and reinforcing it as we speak. And overnight, authorities also exploded parts of the dam in the lower parts of the river to relieve pressure on that dam and protect the 7 million people who live in the city of Luoyang. But they're still working very hard uh, with uh, authorities on high alert. Heavy rain is expected for at least another two days, and many locals say they are terrified and shocked and trying to stay safe and as dry as possible. All right, uh, Katrina, you live for us there in Beijing. Katrina, thank you.